Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be prepping some pheasant. Now we're just coming to the tail end of the game season here in the UK so this is probably going to be the last of the pheasants that we get uh, this season. Um, so I thought I would try a new recipe out and share it with you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to stuff it with some red onion and mushrooms, some apple, some black pudding and some bacon. So first job that I need to do is sweat down the mushrooms and onions. I uh, just soften them in a pan with some oil and some butter. So I'll do that now and I'll check back in once that's done. Okay, so I've just softened those mushrooms and onions down. Let's see there, just in a little bit of uh, oil and some butter. I will just pop these into a bowl. We've done this first just so they've got a chance to cool down. Now I'm only going to use half of the mushrooms and onions in the uh, filling and I'll keep the other half and we'll make a little sauce with this to go with the pheasant. So we'll set that to one side just to cool down. And We'll work on preparing this pheasant. So you can see here the skin's not in the best of conditions. But what we're going to try and do is take off the two breasts as one piece, um, as a crown. And then we're going to lay the filling inside, uh, roll that back up and wrap it in some nice bacon. So, first thing that we need to do, I don't know if you can see on the camera, just in here is the wishbone. So all you need to do is run your knife down and just very gently try and expose that. Try and take that out in a piece. There you go, that's the wishbone. Now, just in here is where the wings were. Obviously they've been cut off, they've possibly been damaged. So what we're going to try and do is cut through the wing joint down onto the rib cage and follow that rib cage around. So just take your time. We'll nick off those wing bones, just like so. Same on the other side. just a case of running your knife down onto the rib cage. Just take your time. There you 
you get to the leg bone, you just cut around that. It's just a case of following the shape of the breasts. And once you've half exposed it on one side, we'll just work on the other side. Take that off. So now all we've got to do is take the fillets off each end of the breastbone. Just keep moving it about. And then you should. Be able to just cut it through, come off like so, and you can see there that skin is still intact. So I've just got a little bit of a wingtip on there. We can just take that off and. The legs will take those off and we'll roast those separate. So just follow the shape down. We'll square off this neck end. So there we have that crown. And we'll put the fill in just in here. And we'll roll that back up. And we'll wrap that in streaky bacon. So we've got the, uh, the crown here and the two legs that we've taken off separate. Now we're going to make the filling to go inside the crown. So this is the mushrooms and the red onion that we sweated down earlier on. Into that, we've got a good inch thick slice of black pudding. Just going to dice this up. Nothing fancy. And just leave it as chunky as you want. And if there's too much here, this can just uh, be added to the sauce that we're going to make to go with the pheasant. So we'll chuck that in into here. And we've also got an apple. Again we'll just dice that. And anything that we don't use can also go back into that sauce. Right. Don't want that in. So we'll give this a good mix about. And give it a good mush together. And the black pudding will sort of act like a bit of a binder. So there we have our filling. 
Right, so we're going to stuff the pheasant now. I've got a roasting pan here. Like I say, we're going to roast the legs separate. So we'll pop those in and just a little bit of seasoning on there. And a little bit of seasoning on the crown. Bring this over. And I've definitely made too much fill in here, but it's not a problem. I can just chuck it back in to make the sauce. I don't want to overfill this, but I want it full enough to give it a nice shape. That should be about right. And then I'm just going to roll this back over from each end. Just into a cushion shape. And then we've got some proper bacon here, middle back. And what we're going to do one slice like that. And the other like that. And then with the tails. We're going to wrap that round to here and this one round to here. And there we have that beautiful stuffed crown of pheasant. So we'll pop that on with the legs. I've got the oven on uh, preheating to 200 degrees uh, 190 fan and we'll give these probably about half an hour and we'll check them after then and yeah should be good okay so we've got the pheasant in the oven just now uh, and we're going to make the sauce while that's cooking away so we'll just pop this onto a medium gas and we've got the leftover mushrooms and onions in the pan. We've also got the leftover filling that we didn't use. We're just going to warm this through and then we're going to let it down with a little bit of red wine and a nice little bit of hot English mustard. So we've just soft, softened the apples down and warmed everything through. We're going to add a little bit of red wine. We're just going to reduce this down. Cook it out a little bit. And we're going to pop in a nice teaspoon of hot English mustard. So, this should be a lovely rich sauce. The black pudding always makes a nice, uh, deep and rich sauce. And we'll just we'll thicken this up, and hopefully, it'll go lovely with our pheasant. So there you can see the sauce is thickened up lovely and that's just about the perfect consistency that we want. I've just had a little taste and it is really delicious. I might add a little bit more mustard because it hasn't got quite enough of a kick for me. But I'm really pleased with that. And we'll serve that up in just a moment when we bring the pheasant out of the oven.